Hi you guys! Hi guys, it's Lisa. Thanks for stopping back at my channel. Today we're making a small piece. I was making it for a gift from my friend Cindy. And we're making it on 3 quarter inch MDF board. And I believe this is 5 by 5 um, I really like the size and I like that this piece is standalone so you don't need to have it framed I think that's kind of fun putting down my collage papers and I put a lot of um, music notes in the back there and a ruler and this little piece that says the Lord's Prayer because I have a prayer for my sis my friend Cindy and I'm hoping that she's up and at them as soon as can be. I'm using some Sean Petit stencils. This one is an absolute favorite of mine and it is called Mediterranean Duo One. I use it a ton and I'm using some purple acrylic paint through the stencil with a makeup sponge. Also using some blue blueprint sketch acrylic paint by Tim Holtz and here comes another stencil from Sean Petit. This one is called Mini Doodles. Yes, mini doodle, I'm sorry, doodle minis mask. I am now putting down some off-white paint with my brayer and just dabbing up the excess with my towel so that that will dry a little bit quicker. I'm adding a little bit of brown because I thought the white was a little too much and this is the ticket the brown is acrylic paint and it is my favorite which is burnt umber i let the brown paint dry and now i'm doing a brown wash over the top this is a technique that i have copied from Sean petite i love her techniques and this one is something that I will use again and again. Thank you, Sean. A little bit more of the off-white paint with my brayer because I want that butterfly to stand out. I believe this is a butterfly that I've gotten from a collage pack from Sean also. And here I'm going to use some more stencils. This one is by Tim Holtz. And this one is called Clockwork. And I will leave all of the products listed below in the description with links in case you need to do any shopping. And of course, I will link all of Sean's um, stencils also, and you'll be able to get those at your leisure. This stencil has clocks on it also, and it was symbolizing my little thought to my friend Cindy that everything takes time. We can't rush it. We just need to let God do his work and take time and everything will work out. So here we go, putting that butterfly on top of that, checking my placement, and then another beautiful stencil by Sean Petit. And the bottom there, it says believe, and this is script Fave words too. It's got grateful, journey, believe, grateful. What a beautiful stencil. I'm using black, jet black ink from Archival. And beautiful. Look at how that stencil turned out. Checking my placement again. I think I want the butterfly to be flying up into the sky. And I'm going to put it down with matte medium. And everything in the background is dry, of course. We don't want to smudge any of that ink. Giving it a good coat. And after that, we'll let it dry a little bit more. Look at that, beautiful. Using my General's 
charcoal pencil and it's a 6B extra soft outlining everything of the butterfly and this really makes butterfly pop off of the piece of art and looks like it's flying into the sky. Got a little dark on the edge there so I just use my wet cloth and wipe it up a bit until it's the way I like. This is a real fun piece. Super quick, easy, and really great for a nice little gift. Gave it to Cindy for her birthday this last week. Happy birthday again, Cindy. I hope you're watching. Oop, little bit of paper that was excess on there and we're going to edge the of course the edges with my marabou black art crayon this gives it the finishing touch that we're waiting for using my white pastel pencil and putting in those highlights and wow I really love it quick and easy probably only took me maybe 30 minutes 35 minutes it's all about the dry time and having it dry between the layers. So putting a little bit of charcoal pencil around the believe sentiment and a little but little white highlights. I felt it needed a little bit of brown watercolor on that clock and it definitely did need that. It really pulled it out from the background so you could see the clock a little bit better. What do you think? Please leave comments below in the in the description area. I'm going to put some um, white splatters on here, I'm thinking. Yeah, I did. That always makes it look super great, white splatters. Just be careful so you don't smudge them. Hope you liked it. Please subscribe and we'll see you again next week.